Hi everyone and welcome to another Flight Deck to Sim tutorial. I'm a 737 captain for a European airline and this channel is about using flight simulation to replicate real world procedures. In today's video I'm going to demonstrate how to intercept a glide slope from above. Now most ILS approaches depict an aircraft intercepting a glide slope from the platform altitude but you might find yourself in a situation where you've been cleared an ILS approach whilst above the glide slope. Today I'll show you a technique you can use to intercept the glide slope safely from above whilst ensuring you still meet the stabilised approach criteria. We're just holding to the southeast of Edinburgh at 5,000 feet and for the purpose of this exercise we'll self-vector onto the localizer and imagine ATC has instructed us to not descend below 5,000 feet until established on the localizer due to some traffic below. Now this situation will leave us high and we'll then have to configure the aircraft once established on the localizer to intercept the glide slope from above. So the technique we're going to apply is that once we're established on the localizer, we'll set the MCP altitude to aerodrome elevation plus a thousand feet. We'll then configure the aircraft to at least the flat five speed and then bug the flat five maneuvering speed plus 10 knots. And then we can add additional drag as required to ensure we have glide slope capture by four nautical miles in VMC conditions, which is the point where we must be fully stabilized on the glide slope. And if not, we must execute a missed approach. Now let's go give it a go. So I'll imagine we've just been told to maintain present heading as vectors for the ILS approach runway 24 and we're on a bit of a base leg here. So we'll go heading select and we'll immediately select flap 1 and match the flap 1 speed. We can go to the legs page, exit the hold here. So I'm just going to route direct to the centre fix and execute. There we are, that's now routing direct to the centre fix. There's the flap 1. Uh, speed and we are indicating flap 1 so we'll select flaps 5 and bug the flap 5 speed and we'll imagine Edinburgh approach has given us our final approach heading to intercept the localizer let's give ourselves a heading around 285 degrees and uh, cleared approach so at this stage uh, arm vor lock but as I mentioned we'll imagine that ATC said okay Please maintain 5,000 feet, clear to intercept the localizer. Once established on the localizer, descend to capture the glide path. This could possibly happen due to, as we mentioned early, earlier, traffic below. It's an unusual situation, but you perhaps might find yourself being vectored high for all sorts of different reasons. So at this stage, there's our heading. We're at the flat 5 speed. Not much more we can do until we're established on the localizer. So you can see now, look, the glide slope has disappeared from view. Uh, the localizer should be coming alive any second. There we are. So localizer alive. And there's localizer capture. We'll set this to the runway heading 241 degrees. Now we need to immediately configure the aircraft to get established on the glide slope. So we'll set the elevation plus 1,000 feet, which is 1,200 feet. We'll select level change. We'll close the thrust levers manually. There we are. That's all the way to arm bug the flat 5 manoeuvring speed plus 10 knots so that's 177 knots and we're going to straight away select flap 10 and we'll then assess the situation see if we need more drag shortly for some reason I don't have the VNAV profile to assist us today which is a bit of a shame but we can already see look the runway ahead quite in the distance but already four wide so let's see how we get on and see if we can get re-established. So just approaching 8 miles, looks like the glide slope is still below us, so I'm going to extend the speed brake to the full extend position. You can see now the speed, uh, the glide slope is now alive, which is a good sign. Remember, as I mentioned earlier, in VMC conditions, as per my operator's SOPs, we must have glide slope capture by 4 miles, in IMC by 5 miles. But looks like it's coming in quite nicely now, and uh, we'll just arrest that rate of descent. So we want to avoid using too high a speed because we'll get to a point where we won't be able to bring the speed back uh, by the time we get to the landing gate which will be 500 feet at this point. We're now within one dot of the glide slope so it's safe to arm approach. 2,500 feet above the ground at this stage. There's glide slope capture so we can stow the speed brake, bug the flap 10 speed and there you go. That's the technique we'd be using on the line every single day to get re-established on the glide slope. 
bit of a bonus for this tutorial. We'll go through a full approach all the way to a landing. I'll talk you through everything as I do during my live stream. So approaching five miles, here's a good point to start configuring. So gear down, flaps to 15, match the speed, and we'll now complete the landing checklist of flaps. So start switch is continuous, recall is checked, speed brake, armed green light, landing gear down three green, order brake is set to three. We can now select flaps 30, VRF plus 5 knots today, it's a 10 knot headwind down in Edinburgh, we'll check the landing flap, so we need 30, and we have 30 indicated green light, landing lights on, we'll imagine we've been cleared to land, and the landing checklist is all complete, and the only thing I forgot to do, very important at Glyso Capture, don't forget to sit them, set the missed approach altitude, uh, which today in Edinburgh is 3000 feet. So we've just passed a thousand feet, time to disconnect and we'll hand fly the rest of the approach. So disconnect the autopilot, disconnect the auto throttle. There we are, so my aeroplane now. Uh, match the thrust, target thrust around 61, 62 tonnes today, so around 57%. Speed's creeping a little bit low there, so we'll just add a bit of thrust. Very small corrections just to stay on the flight direct at this stage. Two reds, two whites outside, looking Five, good. Huh? Top of the amber bar of the PFD, you need to be fully stabilised in VMC, which we are the pilot monitoring, we'd call it continue at this stage. And very smooth inputs, no excuses uh, today, the conditions are perfect, so it should be a nice smooth landing. I've got nothing to use today <laughs> in the One excuse hundred. book. Plus 100's checked. 200. Minimums. Let's continue over the threshold around 50 feet, just a tad low here. 50, 40, 30, 20, Check, 20, close, 10. hold the attitude. Right on the money. Speed breaks up, lower the nose, reverses, reverses green. Go for second to 10 reversed. There's 100 knots. 80 knots, manual braking, 60 knots, bring the reverse to idle, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Edinburgh. So then guys, that's the end of this tutorial on how to intercept the glide slope from above. I hope you found that interesting and learned something new. I hope you can perhaps apply that procedure if ATC online such as Vatsim or Viveo leaves you a little bit high. It's the exact technique we apply every single day if we end up in that situation. It's worth noting that you could perhaps even lower the gear a little bit earlier to increase drag, but Boeing do actually say to avoid using the landing gear for increased drag because it minimises passenger discomfort and increases gear door life, but it is an option available to you. Anyway, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and to subscribe as well if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you on another tutorial or live stream very soon. Bye-bye for now.